Hi there and welcome to the course Introduction to MicroPython using the PyBoard. I am Lakshana and I am a part of the instructor team at Makeademy and I will be your instructor for this course. Being a qualified electronics and communication engineer, I love to work at the intersection of electronic hardware and software. I also have experience in teaching students in a classroom setting. Without further ado, let me take you through the course roadmap. This course comprises five sections. Section 1. Getting started with MicroPython and the PyBoard. Section 2. What is MicroPython? Section 3. The PyBoard. Section 4. Experimenting with the PyBoard features. Section 5. Hands-on projects. Now here's the thing. If you complete all the sections in the course and the course assignments, you will be on your way to building non-trivial projects using the PyBoard and MicroPython. Unlike some of the other introductory hardware courses, this course will take you to a level beyond the hobbyist. You can deep dive into concepts by going through the resources section if you feel like it. As an instructor, my objective is not just to have you replicate the projects in this course, but to encourage you to build interesting projects on your own. At Makeademy, we want to teach you to fish rather than give you a fish. So let's begin. Section 1. Getting started with MicroPython and the PyBoard. In this section, we will cover the following topics. Introduction to the course, an overview of MicroPython, an overview of the PyBoard. Video, introduction to the course. In this video, I will walk you through the learning outcomes, the course prerequisites, and whether this course is for you. After that, I will discuss the steps to be followed for a better learning experience. Now first things first, the learning outcomes. This course will teach you the programming language MicroPython, its essential features, and the platform or the microcontroller on which it will run, called the PyBoard. By the end of this course, you will be able to build non-trivial projects using the PyBoard by programming it using MicroPython. While this is not covered, you will develop enough confidence to program MicroPython compatible boards other than the PyBoard using MicroPython. You will also develop a good knowledge of MicroPython and PyBoard and be able to build exciting projects using the same. Now the course prerequisites. To get maximum value out of this course, you should have at least a basic knowledge of programming principles. If you are familiar with Python, it will be a lot easier for you to follow the course. In fact, if you are not familiar with Python, I would suggest that you first take an introductory course in Python before wading into this course. You would also need to have a basic understanding of electronic concepts. Familiarity with microcontroller boards like Arduino would help you in following this course. The target audience. Are you the right audience for this course? Well, are you a Python developer without hardware experience looking to get started in embedded programming? Or are you familiar with conventional microcontroller programming but are looking to use a high-level language to program the microcontroller? Or are you an electronics hobbyist or an enthusiast looking to explore the PyBoard and MicroPython? Are you a hardcore electronics engineer looking to learn one of the most exciting developments in the field of microcontroller programming? Well, if you said yes to one or more of the questions, then this course is most certainly for you. Now, let me discuss the steps to be followed for a better learning experience. First of all, please note that the versions of the MicroPython and PyBoard used in this course 
are subject to change. In case there are changes, we will update our course accordingly. In case you need help at any point of time while taking this course, please make sure you follow these steps to get an immediate solution to your problem and also for a better learning experience. If you have a doubt or get an error in any part of the course, please do a quick Google search or a MicroPython forum search so that you can get your problem solved fast. If it still doesn't help, then submit a new question which includes what you have done till now and the screenshot of the error you're getting. By trying these methods, I hope you can solve your query at the earliest and move on with the rest of the course. I have attached the list of components required for the whole course in the resources section of this video. A separate components list will also be provided for each project in their respective videos. You can also find a document which contains links to buy all the necessary components needed for this course. Also, the entire code can be downloaded from the GitHub repository, the link for which is also provided in the resources section of this video. In this video, you've got a good idea about the course, the learning outcomes, the target audience, prerequisites, etc. In the next video, we will get started with MicroPython. Happy learning!